Welcome back. Now that we have learned about stack and drawer navigations, let's learn about tab navigation in this video. Tab navigation offers a way to switch between different screens by tapping on a tab, which is usually displayed at the bottom of the screen. It's a common and intuitive navigation pattern found in many apps, providing a seamless user-friendly experience. Let's understand better with code. First, we have to install the bottom tabs navigator library in our project. I'll follow the documentation for this installation to make it easier for you to track. Open the page on bottom tabs under navigators and copy the installation command. Run it in the terminal. npm install at react navigation slash bottom tabs. Now rename app.js to appdrawer.js to separate the code from the previous tutorials. Within the project folder, create a new app.js file and import navigation container from React Navigation slash native. In the next line, import create bottom tab navigator function from React Navigation slash bottom tabs. Invoke the function and create a tab navigator instance. Next, create a React component and default export the same. Add the navigation container within the app component and inside navigation container, invoke tab.navigator. As children to tab.navigator, invoke tab.screen. Invoke it once for each screen you wish to include as a tab. Let's reuse the setting screen from before and create two additional screens. In the screens folder, create a profile screen.js and a course list screen. Copy paste the code from settings screen and change the component name and the text that is rendered. So profile, and then course list. Back in app.js, on each tab.screen component, we specify a name prop, which is the label on our tabs, course list, profile, and settings, as well as a component prop to which we assign the individual screens. Make sure to import the component at the top. So this is profile screen. And finally, settings screen. If we head back to the devices, we can see the tab navigation at the bottom. We have three tabs, one for course list, one for profile, and one for settings. The same in Android. The tabs allow for easy navigation to the respective screens. In each tab, the name prop on tab.screen is displayed as the label, which you see at the bottom, as well as the title in the header. As you can see, it is really simple to create a tabbed navigation in React Native. In the next video, let's take a look at some options for the tab navigator. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.